this time. Day one with the 172nd Airlift Wing, and we flew into Louisville, Kentucky, where we transported Humvees, water buffaloes, and Fort Knox soldiers to Port-au-Prince. Day two, we were back in the States on a military base awaiting our next mission. We are in a day three of our operation, and we are taking two fire trucks down to Port-au-Prince. Why do we have two fire trucks on display? We're taking these fire trucks to Port-au-Prince International Airport to increase their firefighting capabilities. If there is a problem on the ground uh, with the airplanes and you have the maximum amount of firefighting capability on scene at, at the time of the accident, to put that fire out, to uh, give the, uh, the crew and the passengers the best chance of survival. And these aren't your ordinary fire trucks. They are U.S. Air Force fire engines. It has capabilities to put fires out on airplanes. It has uh, foam on board to, uh, to spray the fire, to extinguish the fire. United States Air Force firemen are also on board this aircraft. There are firemen from South Carolina, North Carolina, Delaware, New Jersey, California. They, too, are headed to port au -Prince, where they will spend 120 days. And they will be in place to protect the military and ensure planes and the crew on board like the 172nd is safe from any fire hazard. With the 172nd Airlift Wing, I'm Katina Rankin, along with photographer John Matthews, WLBT News.